now he's starting to put up a fight against all the other top SoCal players again. I'm pretty sure I was watching his. Joey said he had to go fast for Arian because uh, he, wa he wanted to show off that tech skill. So I was getting pretty excited watching <laughs> yeah. it. And he did it. It worked. He got it. It worked. Got to go fast. Got to go fast. Yeah. So I I'm just glad that, that Ken's been definitely stepping yeah. it up. I know I was watching his stream and he was saying like, He's, he's saying, like, yeah, it'll probably take me, like, a year to really get, like, up to the top level again. But he's pretty confident that he can do he's it. He's getting there. And he's, yeah, he's moving up every single time. He's looking good. Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, we're going to get Ken on here right now. I think I might have a match up anyway, so yeah. I'm going to step out. Uh. No, he said he has to play you. He said he has to play you. Okay, next up is Connor versus Bizarre Flame. Bizarre Flame, of course, in this position in the bracket because he upset Fly and Manita. Fly was forced to do a Sheik switch. Against, against the Ganondorf. Wow. This is looking good. This is his first tournament, so he recently moved out here. He's originally, of course, uh, he's, he's kind of been moving in between SoCal and NorCal, both for school and home. Kind of one of those uh, SoCal players that are half and half. Oh, and Connor suicides. Connor in this business because he took out Sun. But both these guys took out two really big names. Oh, tries to get him with a side B. Connor doesn't really punch it that well. He could have got an up smash. Uh, Connor's flubbing. Gets the shield drop back here. Should be an easy stop. Yeah, there it is. But a full stock lead for Biz. Oh, man, Connor's so smooth sometimes. Sure allows shield on the up air. Ooh. Oh man, Connor's shield is dying right now. There we go. Big forward air in the face. Jump, side B, but he gets sniffed out. Ah, man, I love Dan Ganon's death stomp. It goes so high on his body. Pure electricity. Ooh. A little bit of pressure by Connor. Ah, that's really good. See, see, um, what's, what's not known very well is that uh, Ganon actually has, I think, the best invincible wave land in the game. He has amazing invincibility frames. They get a full down B. That's right, the down B, Ganon's big purple bust. He can get that out, uh, get the hitbox out before his invincibility ends. And as you saw there, he does another option. He wave lands on and then does a turnaround jab. Definitely caught Connor by surprise. And I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that was invincible. Ganon's got really good options there. Goes for it again. Invincible jab. Gotta be cognizant of that stuff. Characters with extremely good ledge options. Oh, he gets it again! I just gotta pay attention. Guess the shield drop, but I mean it was obvious. So the force still comes. Kind of struggling with the shield drop, so he just gets down. Gets the up smash, and that's a killer 115. Barely. Connor's moving fast. It's another jab. It's gonna make it to the edge. Yes, he is, but he suicides. I think that's two for the match. Oh, that's a pity. Biz bans uh, Pokemon Stadium. And they go to FD. Ladies to start off. Yeah, I think FD is an incredibly good choice against Ganondorf. And I'm surprised Biz didn't ban it. Uh, just because Ganon, Ganon uh, kind of gets camped out here. It's a really long stage. I, I think even uh, Stadium is better for Ganon. Both are really bad. Uh, but Ganon traditionally struggles here. He needs platforms more than most characters. Ah, uh, yeah. See, Biz loves doing that. He loves doing the ledge jump off the ledge as Ganon. That's right, just pressing Y. Called, some people call it the Mewtwo King jump or the tournament winner. But with Ganon, it's actually really good. And with Falcon, it's good too. Because the way Ganon contorts his body when he does the ledge jump, it's kind of hard to hit. And he can do a lot of uh, aerial drifts. And then, considering his stomp pulls, him, pulls his uh, hurt box back, it can be tough to cover for people. You know, you try to reach up there, and then he pulls up his first stomp, and you miss it completely. 
All right, a little bit of sta spacing in the neutral then. Double stomp. Gets up normally. Connor covers it. Uh, back here on the down B. Down B has a lot of lag. Always got to punish that. Connor gets a weak back here. He's going to make the edge guard a lot harder. Didn't quite get it. Didn't go out there in time to get that uh, down B. I think he could have punished it. Yeah, he's not going out there for these down Bs. But still, gets the shine spike. Pulls it to a good lead. Ah, he's the forward tilt. And that should be it. Oh, I thought that was going to be a forward air. What was he trying to do with that neutral air? Biz loves his neutral airs. He does a lot of grab combos off them, too. Play Marth against them like I do. Uh, you know that he, he does neutral air combos all the time. He does it against spaces sometimes, too. Back here up tilt. Yeah, see, the thing is, uh, Ganon's so tall that a lot of times when you do those earlier aerials, uh, it hits his shield and he just shield grabs. And since he's, because he's so tall, his shield is higher, so you kind of have to aim your uh, neutral air a little bit lower than you, than you normally do. Also, because of his odd tall hurt box, drills some, he sometimes escapes drills and can just jab out of them without even much smash the eye. Yeah, you saw that right there. That drill would normally lead to a shine for most characters, but since Ganon's got this weird, tall, skinny hurt box, he doesn't really eat it like other characters do. Oh, another jab. Oh, pressure by Connor. Follow him. Gets a ledge. Invincible ledge dash? No, I think Connor was trying it. I'm sure he didn't mean to, mean to do the, the ledge jump. Connor's eating a lot of jabs. He's eating a lot of jabs. Okay. Strong back air. Gets it. That's really hard to do. Good stuff. He, he, so, so the way uh, Falcon and Ganon's up Bs work is that on frame 13, it elongates his hitbox really quickly. So if you hit it before the frame 13, or, or if you hit it after the frame 13, you can get an easy hit on uh, Ganon or Falcon. Otherwise, they'll hug you and you know, you'll be in a world of hurt. Ooh, Connor dies off a of suicide. A lot of suicides this set. That's two, that's two too many. Oh, just down B off the stage. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's trying his little, uh, little heart out to try to uh, pull out this win, you know, which would be considered an upset, right? Uh, if it's, it's hard to, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's hard to say who's the favorite in this game. Both, both of these are accomplished players. Yeah. Oh, both of them shield, and it seems like he grabbed out of it. Yeah. Oh, Bizarro with a nice jab and a combo right there, finishing him off. Yeah. He's got a 4-2 lead, even though Ganon does have 100 damage on him. Which Ganon's jab's really fast, so teching it is extremely difficult sometimes. Yeah. That was nice edge work by Connor right over there. Yeah. See, drill, drilling against Ganon is so risky. It really is. It, it pops him out. He's trying to use his laser just to create a little bit of damage right there. Anything to chip away. Oh, nice little, little back air. Connor. Oh, nice stop. Connor's getting controlled. Oh. Yeah, this, this stage position by, by Bizarro has lasted a really long time. Yeah, I mean, he's keeping center stage and uh, not giving it up too quickly. Yeah. Oh, grabbed him a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh, enough oh. there. Is that going to be a kill? No, not no. quite. No, Ganondorf's weight a little too heavy for that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, huh? A little fade back neutral air. Oh, look, that's the mango. Game. Okay, grab the ledge. It looked like in the early stages that Connor was, uh, you know, in a commanding lead, but. Uh, no, Bizarro. Uh, my bad. All right, here we go. But, neutral air to shine. Oh, oh, that up air is really strong, but is Connor oh. going to make it back? Yes, he does! Amazing. 
Oh, and that's, back air. Okay. that is it. Tried to chip away. Yep. zara has got control heading into this last stock. Doesn't really get punished by the Fox Invincibility that badly. Yeah. Here's a um, full, full punch. Okay, oh. Uh, oh. If he can kill him here with some edge work, no, that cloud saves him right there. Yeah, the cloud option was actually pretty hard to cover there. Yeah, oh. Is this it? No, he come. Okay, there it is. Up air kills uh, Bizarro. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, last stock situation. Game three. Oh, man, this is what we live for, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, up air on the way down. Oh, oh Connor's going in. He's Okay, it's Back looking here. really even. We like it here. Oh, oh up there. Okay, smash. Oh, nice little Firefox. Get him with it. Okay. And it's... Oh, can can Bizarro come back? Oh, Connor's not letting him. It seems like he's got him on the ropes. Can he come oh, back? No, he shines him. That, that is, is it. it. That Connor is. clutches it. Oh, that is amazing. It looked like it was uh, Bizarro.